Welcome back. Apparently, cavemen sharpen pieces of flint and use them to shave their facial hair. Modern man can simply buy a pack of razor blades. While several styles of shavers and blades exist, many men believe the traditional type of razor blade gives the closest shave of all. They're paper thin, yet sharp enough and strong enough to cut through the coarsest beard. Razor blades are made from a stainless steel strip that's a mere one-tenth of a millimeter thick. The strip first enters a punching machine which stamps out the overall blade shape. These blunt blades to be are called blanks. At this stage of production, the stainless steel is very soft, as pliable as paper, so they now harden and strengthen it through a four-step heat treatment process. Step one, they heat the blanks in a furnace to 1100 degrees Celsius for about 30 seconds. Step two, they briefly submerge them in cold water. This is called quenching. Step three, they chill them for about 20 seconds in a deep cooling chamber at a temperature of minus 50 degrees Celsius. All this progressively restructures the molecules, hardening the metal. However, the metal becomes brittle, meaning they have to reheat the blanks for 20 seconds. The hardened blanks then move through a printer, which applies the razor blade brand name. Gas flames instantly dry the wet ink. Now it's time for the blanks to become blades. They enter a grinding and polishing machine. Within it are three grinding stations which first sharpen the contour, then produce two super sharp cutting edges. The blades then pass through a polishing station which removes burrs left by the grinding. Until now, the blades have been connected to each other. As they exit this machine, a knife separates them. The factory's quality control lab pulls samples from the production line and checks, among other criteria, the quality of the grinding and the angle of the cutting edges. Then every single blade the factory produces is examined for defects. Technicians assemble blades in packs of up to 800, then shine fluorescent light on the two cutting edge sides. This makes defects visible. Blades which pass the inspection are washed with solvent to remove contaminants, then dried. The now pristine razor blades go into a vacuum chamber. It draws a chromium-based coating onto the surface, rendering the cutting edges harder and more wear resistant. Next, spray nozzles apply a non-stick coating which will help the blades guide smoothly over the skin. To adhere the coating permanently to the blade surface, they bake it on for 20 minutes at 350 degrees Celsius. Quality control technicians test samples again, this time to ensure the blades meet strength specifications. This test machine measures the force required for the blade to cut a thick wad of wet paper to a certain depth. Back in production, workers submerge the razor blades in organic oil for about half an hour. This provides additional protection against corrosion. On the packaging line, the equipment wraps each blade individually in wax paper. The wax coating on the paper helps protect the razor blade against corrosion during storage. Wax paper is also stronger than regular paper, so the blade's razor sharp edges don't cut through it. The edges of these razor blades are about 10 times thinner than a human hair. A blade typically lasts about six shaves, so the average male goes through quite a few, considering that over the course of his lifetime, he'll have spent more than 3,300 hours shaving his face. 
a lot less than my wife spends on Alex, with my razor as well.